in the Amazon rainforest in South America. Some of you folks may have noticed the beautiful margarine flies all around us. That's right, folks, I said margarine flies. I can't believe it's not butter flies. <laughs> Uh, this is my day job. <laughs> Over on your left hand side, we do have the beautiful Inspiration Rock. A lot of people ask me, well, why is it called that? Well, they say the longer you stare at it, the more it inspires you to go deeper and deeper into the jungle. Everybody say, ooh. Just look. Everyone say, ah. Just look. Look. Well, that's inspiration if I've ever heard it. As we round the bed, folks, we are headed on to the Congo River, one of Africa's deepest and darkest. So we're gonna see how far we can go. Congo. Uh, this is my life, guys. Four years of college, and now I do the anyway. Up ahead on the beach, I did arrange a welcoming party so we can get to know each other. Oh, looks like nobody showed up. Just like my tenth birthday. They're probably hiding, yeah, I mean, it must be a surprise party. Oh, I see them now. Canoe? <laughs> uh, it only gets worse. Okay, moving on. Whoa, look at this giant python just hanging around. Beautiful animal. You know how I can tell he's a python and not a boa? He has no feathers. Anyway, we're going to swing by my campsite really quick just to grab a couple things. Some bugs for you. Look behind his speakers. Oh my goodness! Those old ladies in fur coats destroyed my house. I mean, look at my car. They painted it blue. Terrible. Just oh terrible. Not so you see the monkeys? Guys, not cool. Anyway, we're going to move what, on mommy down holding? to the so you can see? Mommy, you can see, you can see more. Longest. It's over 4,000. No, no, miles. no. You got to sit on your butt or sit on mommy's lap. And Niles and Niles and Niles and Niles. And if you don't believe it, well, you're in Africa. That's right, guys. <laughs> Now over on the right hand side is my pet elephant, Bobo, look, that's look. right. I taught elephant. him a really cool trick. He can actually jump over 10,000 feet when pushed out of an airplane. Up ahead we do have a beautiful sandstone rock formation. A lot of people take it for granted, but I think it's one of our bolder attractions. I can marvel at it for hours. I wish more people shared my sentiment. Makes me a little jaded sometimes, but I think it rocks. <laughs> that looks like some animals gathered today for a nice drink of water. They're wow! These giraffes. Oh my! You know, uh, kids, uh, he's just taking a nap. You know, that's how animals sleep in the wild. On the floor, not breathing, surrounded by lions. <laughs> He's uh, dead tired. We should just let him rest in peace. Whoa! I thought this was a family park. Holy moly. Oh, hang on a second. Whoa. I actually know these guys. Yeah. I kept telling them don't ever argue with the rhino, but it looks like he'll get the point in the end. Uh, Alright, tough crowd. Okay, moving on. Ladies and gentlemen, don't today's put your mouth cruise has been brought to you by Awkward Silence. <laughs> Tessa, we're going through the waterfall. Oh my gosh. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're now coming up to the breathtaking Schweitzer Falls. Named after the famous African explorer, Dr. Falls. Did you feel that nice and refreshing mist? Nice and relaxing. Well, that mist actually carries the jungles a largest array of viruses and bacteria. Yeah, the more you know. Uh-oh, it's a down airplane. That can only mean one thing, hippos, that's right. They leap from the ground into the sky and knock airplanes out. Doesn't make any sense whatsoever, but neither do I. Big kids, oh, man. Oh, Gotta be the big kids. I discovered a pool of <gasps> rampaging hippos. Don't worry, folks. I'm gonna try to scare them away. They're very afraid of loud noise. Like you might want to cover your ears. Kessa, get ready. Plug your ears in. Ready. <laughs> that was a close one. It's the hippos in the trees you really gotta watch out for. Anyway, looks like we're now entering headhunter territory, which is a terrible place to be headed, so never go there. Now it sounds like the natives are all out. Oh no. Usually when they're dancing like this and they're playing the music, means they're about to attack. Yeah, they don't like us driving these boats through there and 
I guess they're still not happy about it. Don't worry, guys. I can speak their language. I will translate. Hold on. changing rivers. We're now headed on to the Mekong River in Southeast Asia. It looks like there is some sort of temple up ahead. If you look carefully, you'll see that statue out front. That statue is a historically accurate representation of the great leader Shirley. So this must be Shirley's temple. Be sure to keep your eyes open. You might spot treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Uh, I'm going to keep mine closed. Looks kind of painful. It is a root canal. I am here. Don't ever talk to him. He knows what he did. He knows. Anyway, folks, uh, looks like we are going to have to wait here a little while just until the boat in front of us can figure its life out. While we're waiting here, though, just some helpful advice for your day in the park. Drink lots of water, folks. Dehydration is very dangerous. Now, you can grab a free cup of water at any quick service restaurant. That's right. It's no joke. It's for real. It's completely true. Now, ladies and gentlemen, our journey is nearly over. But no trip into the jungle is complete without a visit to Trader Sam. That's right. Trader Sam is our head salesman of the jungle. <laughs> Lately, though, his sales have been shrinking. So he's got a special deal just for you. Two of his heads for just one of yours. Any way you slice it or dice it, you come out ahead. It's a killer deal. No, no, no volunteers. Okay. Um, funny story. I was actually over at Sam's house yesterday. You see, he was having a dinner party and he invited me over. I brought my girlfriend with me. About halfway through dinner, I was like, Sam, you know, I gotta tell you, your wife makes a really good stew. And then Sam said, yeah, she does, but I'm sure gonna miss her. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. <laughs> it's only a joke. I don't have a girlfriend. Anyway, <laughs> as soon as the boat in front of us can pull forward and give us room, we can pull in towards the dock. Um, while we're waiting, though, ladies and gentlemen, as you go through your day here at the Magic Kingdom, always remember... You have to sit down. That way you never forget. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, this next one is for all you psychics. Yeah, I know it's a little telepathetic, but it's the thought that counts. 
How many people are planning on catching the fireworks tonight? Yeah? Don't do it. They're hot.